Are similar situations also happening at campuses around the country, including right here in Connecticut. We're going to send it on over to Kent Pierce right now. He's in New Haven covering protests happening in our state. Kent, good morning. Good morning to you, Natasha, and it's a different kind of backdrop for the Yale protests today. Instead of at Cross Campus or Beinecke Plaza, we are here in front of the New Haven Police Department. Protesters say they are here because of arrests the New Haven Police made at a protest outside the Yale University President's home yesterday. The group resumed its chanting and singing last night after a quiet morning and afternoon, and they did so in front of President Peter Salovey's home on Hillhouse Avenue. They had bullhorns. They were chanting slogans until a little bit before 11 o'clock last night. Those protests began in earnest nearly two weeks ago. First, they set up a tent encampment <coughs> excuse me, in Beinecke Plaza outside a dinner for the Board of Trustees. That got raided by police Monday of last week. They arrested 48 people then. That protest then moved a block away to Cross Campus, where they set up tents until police raided it two days ago. No arrests that time, but protesters vowed to keep coming back. Last night, they did just that at President Salovey's house. No word if Salovey was even home at the time. Protesters are demanding the university to disclose its investments and divest of any companies that profit from the Israel-Hamas war. Uh, they say a handful of their fellow protesters were arrested by New Haven police and they're here on the steps of the PD waiting for them to be released. Now up at UConn, the protest group known as UConn Divest, it announced it is releasing its official demands tomorrow afternoon and that is happening at 4 p.m. in front of the Dodd Center for Human Rights on the campus at Store. So a lot going on here in our state too. Live in front of New Haven PD, I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you.